Hello, my name is Paul Craddock, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install NoTouch OS. Now, um, for the purpose of this video and to make it easier for you to see what's going on, uh, I'm doing this using a virtual machine and I've already linked in uh, the ISO image. Um, the installation process would be the same whether or not you're using uh, a, a USB um, or an ISO CD file. So first of all, I'm just going to power on the virtual machine. And on the first screen, we need to type the word install. Okay, so here we've got a couple of options. Um, if we're using, um, sorry, if we're installing on a, a legacy BIOS-based device, then we can just use the standard install no touch OS method. However, if you are using UEFI-based systems, then you should use uh, that option. So I'm going to click install no touch OS. Um, here, um, this would normally pick up the serial number of the ed the endpoint that it reads from the BIOS. Okay, so how do we want to format the drive? Well, this is important. If I select OK and wipe, and this will do a, kind of a deep dive wipe of the, of the disk, which takes um, a significant amount of time to complete. It might even take one or two hours. Um, so for the purpose of speed, um, then we're just gonna use uh, the standard uh, wipe. So now the installation process has begun, and then this shouldn't take too long to complete. Okay, so the installation is now complete, and we're now just verifying the installation. So as you can see, the, the, the installation process itself is very quick and, and very smooth and very intuitive. Okay, next step, all we need to do is just press enter to reboot. And then this will now boot into NoTouch OS. installation is complete. So we do have a couple of options. Um, we can either just skip the wizard and continue the installation process, or alternatively, um, what we could do is we could uh, confirm the address of our management server. Now to um, automate the process even further, um, you, we obviously recommend that you create a DNSA record that resolves the hostname TCMGR to the IP address of your management server which in doing so means that you wouldn't see the startup wizard uh, at all and that it would then um, find the management server automatically and pick up its configuration and would then be ready to use. Thanks for watching.